Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you some things and practices and habits I have been doing to stay centered and peaceful and aligned during a very chaotic season. So as you may or may not know, about a month ago we left our house in Phoenix and we are preparing to live full time in our RV. This is a very exciting time full of a lot of unknowns and a lot of excitement and a lot of bouncing around from house to house, living out of suitcases, all the things. So I want to share some things that have really been helping me as I navigate a season of so much contrast. So we've been living in Arizona for the past six years years. So this is the most amount of time we have spent here with our families in the Midwest in a very long time. And what I want to share with you today is something that I've been so aware of since we've been back in the Midwest, getting our RV ready, spending so much time with family. And that is just that the mind loves to keep itself busy with worries and overthinking and focusing on the things we do not want rather than the things we do want. This lifestyle is the lifestyle Stephen and I have been manifesting for years. We have quit our jobs. We are living nomadically. We really have no one to answer to besides Arlo. He is the ruler of the house. Uh, but we haven't really even been enjoying the fact that we do not have jobs because we've been so busy in the season of life just trying to prepare all the things. And I think I just get super frustrated with myself when I'm not fully appreciating the things that I've been manifesting for so long. And I know a lot of you can share that sentiment with me when you've been working towards something and you finally get there and you still feel worries and anxieties and overthinking coming up. First of all, know that there is absolutely nothing wrong with you. This is totally normal. It's our conditioning. It has to do with the way our society is built. But being aware of that story is huge. And as you can see throughout this video, I'm sharing some habits that have been helping me stay aligned and centered and come back to my truth. The simple habits we talk about so much on my podcast, Alignment Adventures, podcasts like meditation, stretching, movement, going outside, or just focusing on what you can control rather than what you cannot control. That simple mindset shift can release so much resistance and so much suffering. As you can see here, I try to use this app as much as I can on my phone, or you can even search on YouTube. You can use some of my meditations to find a quick and simple meditation. This one is helping me return to my heart. Hi, it's Mar. Welcome. So whether you find yourself in a chaotic and busy season of life, like me right now, or maybe you're in a different season that does seem slower, these simple habits can just help truly change your outlook and change your perspective, thus changing your reality. You saw me reading my Abraham Hicks book, and I just love listening to them. They're one of my favorite channels. If you're not familiar with them, just search on YouTube while you are here, Abraham Hicks, and choose something that speaks to you. But they are always saying that we create our reality. And that is my truth. I know that I create my reality through my mindset and my outlook and my emotions and my thoughts. And those are the things we can control. Not what other people are doing, not what other people are thinking or their habits or how they're reacting to the world. We cannot change those things, but we can change ourselves, our energy, our vibration. So even just after this video, if you can go and meditate for a few moments or stretch out your body or go outside or read your favorite book or maybe go play with your kid or your pet, do something I say on the podcast, on your alignment list, things that bring you so much joy. Just do one of those things 
and see where it leads you. Even just taking a few deep nourishing breaths are a game changer when it comes to living a life in alignment and releasing the stress and the chaotic energy of a very busy season in life. Now, I know you may be thinking, Lindsay, if it's a chaotic season, how are you finding time to do these things? I want to let you know that I don't always find time to do all the things that I want. Like sometimes Arlo wakes up before I do and my mornings can be very chaotic and I feel like that sets me up for a chaotic energy for the day. And you know what? When that happens, I just try to practice allowing. And then I notice that the next day he sleeps a little bit longer and I am able to have that time in the morning. Of course, I am showing you the bits where I am able to get in the things that I want to do, but that does happen every single day and that's okay. What changes your reality is your perspective on how your life is unfolding. I believe that things are always happening for my highest good. That is my truth. And you get to create your own truth. So I just encourage you to be aware of the stories going on in your mind, at least the ones going on a majority of the time. And these practices, the more you do them, whether it's for a few minutes, 30 seconds, or for an hour, these practices help you come back to your truth and discover your own truth and your own alignment, the things that do bring you so much joy. Sometimes we just don't even know what activities bring us so much joy, but giving yourself a little bit of time and space here and there, especially in these chaotic seasons, can be a game changer for your quality of life. Please share in the comments how you are feeling and how you are doing in your season of life currently and any habits that have been a game changer for you or anything in your life that has just drastically changed your perspective on your reality. Thank you all so much for joining me in today's video. Make sure you are subscribed so you can see all of our future adventures in our RV. Sending you all so much love and all the highest vibes. And I will see you in the next video.